Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. So if you've used Windows before, then you'll know that the Alt tab menu selector is a pretty nifty feature. You have the ability to switch between different windows very quickly using Alt tab and you have this cool thumbnail preview windows here. However, on Mac OS, the options are pretty limited. You can press Command tab and then you can switch between different windows. However, we don't see the thumbnail preview. Also with macOS Ventura, we have the option to use something like Stage Manager. And once that's activated, every time you minimize a window, then it will go into the sidebar here. You can go ahead and open up multiple windows and minimize them here. And then we can quickly switch between them. And we have this thumbnail preview on the left. We're gonna have a quasi window switcher on the left here, but this is basically always gonna display. And so it's a little bit irritating. What we really wanna do is to have an alternative like Alt Tab, which basically brings back Windows Alt Tab onto macOS. And today I'm gonna to show you how to go ahead and do that and get some of this more powerful Powerful functionality back onto macOS. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description for this website, alt-tab-macOS.netlify.app. This is a completely free and open source tool, which is gonna allow alt-tab functionality to work on a Mac. So all we need to do here is click on the download button and then we're gonna download the zip file. Once that's completed, we're gonna press finder and then we're gonna to go to downloads. We're gonna find that alt-tab zip and then double click and it's gonna extract the application. And then we're gonna drag and drop this into the applications folder and then let go. And then within applications, we're gonna scroll and then find the alt-tab app that's just been copied over. And then we're gonna go ahead and double click. Here it's saying that the app is downloaded from the internet. We're gonna press open. And here it's gonna start asking for permissions. So what we're gonna do is to follow the prompts. Or if you don't see the prompts, you can always click on these buttons here. I'm gonna first open the system settings to allow the computer to record screen and audio. Check the box here. And then we're gonna type in a password and then unlock and then we're gonna press quit and reopen. So if it doesn't reopen, just double click on Alt tab again. And here I'm gonna do the last accessibility option, open accessibility preferences. And then we're gonna select the box for Alt tab here. Again, we're gonna type our password and press modify settings. And now that's done. So here it's saying the Alt tab has been added to applications that run in the background, that's fine. If you do have an update, it's a good idea to press the install update button. And that's gonna download the latest version of the software. Press install and relaunch. And now Alt tab has started to work. So what I'm gonna do is hold down the option key and then tab. And then this is gonna show us all of the windows that we have open. So Alt Tab works pretty much exactly the same as it does on Windows. You hold down Option and then Tab. And then whilst holding Option, you can still press the Tab button to switch between different windows. And once you let go of the Option button, then it'll go to that particular window. So another tip is that while we have this window open and you're holding the Option key, you can press Tab. And if you wanna go back to the previous selection, you can hold down Shift and then Tab, and it's gonna go back a window. So you can flick back and forth using option and tab, and also the shift key as a modifier as well. So anyway, that's how you get alt tab functionality back on macOS. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.